is a materials modeling summer school. Organized by students for students. This is how it all started. Um, I think in about 2011, Aeneas and Jazz contacted me and asked if I would be part of an experiment that they were doing, putting together this summer school, which was entirely run by students. So what was the idea behind Hermes? One of the key ideas behind Hermes is really to combine world-class science with world-class science communication and do both of them at a level that is usually not seen together with the other one. Scientists from the top of their fields will give you masterclasses on their work. Um, so they've given their talk and, you know, after a conference talk, uh, there's usually uh, some discussion. And the way that that was organised was completely different. The students were split up into groups and they would go away in those groups and think up questions that they really wanted to ask. The students actually came up with some extremely good questions which led to excellent discussion. And I thought, my goodness, why don't we always do this? You know, this was a, this was a, you know, a really good way of uh, organising a conference. During the summer school, experts teach participants how to best communicate science. Here, they were summarising the masterclasses for a general audience. Hi, I'm Drew. I'm here to talk to you about DFT a recipe and the uh, fundamental ingredients. And now you have an accident. The dinner is cancelled. We're, we're done. What to do with that? A possible solution for that particular problem. But this is by far not the end of the story. The thing I like particularly about Hermes is it is a tremendous amount of fun. Um, not only do you get to have an large number of very interesting conversations, meet new people, and in fact I've seen people from both Hermes around the world, but you have an enormous amount of fun. The ability to just chat very easily with leading academics is not something I've ever experienced at any other conference I've been to, and you could get general life tips or, or really deep academic tips about your specific PhD problem. You really need to make sure you don't waste your time on things that you don't want to be doing. Thank okay, you so much.